Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going over the altcoin today which I called for accumulation which has now seen over 100% gains to the upside. I'm going to be going over this and the next very very important support and resistance level on this. I mean even if you do not trade altcoins I think this is just a brilliant video to watch to kind of see how my mind works when I'm recognizing these type of patterns because it's just it really is kind of <laughs> very important so i hope that you really enjoy this video uh i mean i'm gonna say it already smash that like button as hard as you can if you made absolutely insane amount of money with us on this one obviously originally calling tezos back in june where this was kind of funny these were my words at the time i like you know for me this is a good opportunity uh you know for me this is a place that i would look to get involved uh, Looking to get involved at Tezos back at $32, calling that one in June, and obviously the update video that I gave to this on the 9th of September, so we're talking about four days ago, talking you through my plan that was next on Tezos. That was, was still while we were below that lower weekly. So let's give a little bit of an update of what has happened since. Uh, it was kind of a funny one, actually. Tezos, are, you could, if you can remember and you've been subscribed long enough, remember when I, I po published that video on the 17th of June, and after the video came out, oh wow, within like 10 minutes, the coin pumped like 10%. And it, it happened again. This time I published that video on the 9th of September. Um, this one was within, you know, within like 10 minutes, the coin started to pump heavily again so it's kind of it was kind of a nice ordeal but if we cast our mind back to what we were thinking of tezos uh obviously at the time this is what we had in mind we obviously were still at the time trading below that weekly which was 0 0.0001 uh sats okay obviously i'm trading this personally on um bybit but also i have accumulated it on spot so that's why i'm looking at tezos btc here but i am leveraged trading this on Bybit against Tether. So I, I will give you an update there as well. Uh, but what we were obviously looking at on the video on the 9th, uh, you know, just a few days ago, we obviously had our, our, our Fibonacci retracements, which we were taking from the low up to the high of at that time. Okay, up to the high at that time. And we obviously were looking very much so at this CC retracement. What did we have at the time? Okay, we had a potential fractal going on and we knew or this is what i was basically saying is we have a fractal and that will be in my opinion invalidated if we are to reclaim our weekly level obviously we went on to reclaim that weekly level the fractal was totally well, in my opinion was totally invalidated at that point and we only had to look for higher well quite outstandingly enough after that reclaim of the weekly we pumped another another 50 percent to the upside and this is like this is just the crazy thing about this one because I mean, I've been calling this one inside of the Champions Group for oh, months, literally, along with the other four altcoins that I have given as accumulation. This was one of them, and it's obviously gone mental. And then done the oh man, I've just given I've I've, I've shielded Tezos pretty hard, but this is the thing: I've been shilling Tezos at the low, so totally different than what most people would do when they make YouTube videos after the pumps occurred. I've been very keen on this one for quite a while, shilling it right down at the lows. And I mean, we have had people that have entered the Million Airs Club; they have made their million from Tezos, and that's what this is just. It is so amazing. Like I was reading through those comments, two people literally made their first million with the help of this Tesla setup. So it was just like, yeah, I'm really, 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 really. Oh, it's just a really good feeling, you know. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. So I'm really pleased with that. But obviously, we we managed to find the support of the CC. We reclaimed our weekly. We moved another fifty percent to the upside. And if you take a look at these fibs, I mean, the, the Fibonacci is, is just, has to be recognised here. Fibonacci is very, very, very powerful. If we just hide temporarily this. You can see how we found support of the CC up to our first negative fib, and then we come up. Look at that one, just absolutely perfectly, absolutely literally nailed the current high of the Tesla's chart. Can we push higher? Of course we can, but look at that resistance. And we talk about accuracy. Um, <laughs> you can't get too much more accurate than that, obviously, from the CC to your first fib to your second fib, currently holding it down. If we add back on our technical analysis that we have on here, obviously, we have an overall accumulation pattern. You know, accumulation patterns are obviously very bullish. Now, there's a few levels that we have to bear in mind uh, as we move forward here. Obviously, personally, I have hit my take profit on Tezos. I've not fully closed my position. And actually, my take profit was this key level here. 
And you might be thinking to yourself, ha, Daniel, you took profit and prices above your take profit. You lost out on a little bit of money. And of course, that is the case. But I can also tell you with 100% certainty, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Really, it doesn't bother me. Yes, I have hit take profit one, not closed everything, but I have hit a take profit, have moved my stop loss up. And, you know, we're above that take profit. Is that annoying for me? Absolutely not. More people get punished in trading from being greedy it hits a significant level of resistance and they do not take profit because they think, oh, it's just going to keep going up and up and up and up and up. And maybe it might in the short term, but when the retracement comes, they get their winning positions, turn to losing positions. And it's the same story over and over and over and over again. Taking profits is an absolute must in this game. If you don't do it, you are not a trader. Let's just be honest, you're just not a trader. So I have hit my first take profit one. Yes, we are a little bit above the level. It's it's fine. But, um, you know, I've, I've made literally uh, millions <laughs> I've, I've made so much money from this trade, it's really bad if I didn't take profits. So, um, yeah, looking at this now, we can recognize, that, well, it's pretty obvious why we rejected. Obviously, this is our top of our first, um, well, actually, our, our second FIB level. But obviously, on the USDT pair, we're rejecting from around that like, $7 resistance, um, which, funnily enough, is the resistance I was calling back, back, when, back in June, by the way, if you watch that video again. But we obviously have rejected, well, kind of rejected pullback, however you want to refer to this as. Currently, we are still in the uptrend, of course. So we're currently finding resistance of around $7, uh, just mid $7. But here on the Bitcoin pair, which I like to refer to, is that's obviously coming in at about 0 0.000169 sats. And the important, you know, I'm going to say very, very, very important support is this weekly now. What I like about this weekly is that when we take our Fibonacci from the low on the 7th of September, so we're literally talking a few days ago, up to the high, we will see that this uh, weekly sits on our old key level on top of the CC. So this is such a crucial level of support. It really is. It's you're coming into your CC, your weekly, and also that key level that we had from the accumulation pattern. Yeah, that was obviously the high of our first automatic rally. So automatic rally, obviously, we had our overall high for the, for the first key level. This is basically really, really key uh, level of support. And if we are to pull back and test this key level of support, uh, that would bring you down to around $4.80 on the tether pair. Um, so yeah, you, you got to be careful of your exposure um, if we are to get that pullback. Yeah, because it would bring you to about $4.80. Um, so I am aware of that. Currently, we are holding the top support. So we're not necessarily expecting $4.80 yet, of course. If we start to lose this support, then, you know, it can be accelerated. So it's just something to bear in mind. I, I prefer to get a little bit ahead of the game in terms of that. Uh, but that's just something to be aware of. We we currently have our, well, really simply, the, 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 the top level here, which I just read out for you. If we are to clear this, well, then, of course, it's going to look extremely bullish, let's be honest. And we would be looking up towards the monthly still, in my opinion. Of course, we know we have this area of consolidation at around 0 0.002. Uh, likely to be a bit of, um, you know, a bit of resistance to come in there, but ultimately looking towards the monthly, okay, which would be very, very nice. And then obviously, if we reclaim that up to the weekly, the, to the downside, very simple as well. Let's be honest, if we lose this key level, we can look back into this range. Yeah, but ultimately, there would be no real surprise if we come back and retest the, um, you know, back into the top of the automatic rally. You know, if we're looking at accumulation, you know, if, it, you know, I've done I went over this in detail in last night's Champions live stream, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. But obviously, if we lose this key weekly, we can look back down towards the spring of the overall accumulation pattern. But, you know, we're talking there, you know, another two or three months into the future for that to occur. So, you know, we're focusing more on the smaller term time frames here. Well, we've got our next level of resistance. If we get through that, we're looking for 0 0.0002. If we lose this key level, ultimately, I think it's more likely, uh, well, not necessarily more likely. We do obviously have this range to trade, but we could say the next big level of support, obviously, is coming back into our key level on the weekly on the CC. So this is must hold kind of quote unquote must hold support if it doesn't hold we're looking for the spring and if we manage to maintain these uh, you know our top key level of support here we're looking for 0 0.002 so from here on out i think it's just a case of 
I mean, I, I've, I've read it from the comments. Many, 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 many people managed to make insane amount of money with me on these, uh, the, you know, on, on, on Tezos and the other alts I was calling. So it's now kind of a case of we don't need to get greedy. We've managed to get, we've managed to pretty much long the low of this. Uh, you know, it's a, in my opinion, a sensible take profit. You obviously can do whatever you want. Uh, for me, this is a sensible take profit. If we get the heavier retracement, hey, I'm going to look down towards $4.80. Uh, if we continue to move up here, I'm going to look on the Bitcoin pair towards 0.00. .00 to judge that area of consolidation yeah i'm doing to judge this area of consolidation and kind of uh, make an, an informed decision from the next day next set of data that i had so far um you know i've been very spot on on this one so that would be my next area of consolidation that i would look to potentially short from or at least hedge myself from um or alternatively obviously we got the loss of this key level and then we got the next uh, weekly levels down here so i mean hopefully this has made sense to you uh what i will say is if you would like to see another altcoin coverage obviously i am currently trading sol oh, it, that would th this short by the way was even mentioned in, in the free twitch live stream that i done but obviously i've given made a bit more detail on the champions for this one in the la in the live stream last night i as this guy said thoroughly went over different altcoins Soul was one of them where at the time I wrote last week to my team looking for 160 on Soul. That was while we were trading at about $200. Obviously, I thought, man, actually, this no longer looks good at 160. We're looking for the one to one on Soul now, but obviously, I'm short on that one. Uh, the other alts that I can cover if you're interested, heavily trading uh, Tezos, of course, which I've covered here. Also trading Soul. So I could do a Solana video. I could do a um, also trading a lot of dots at the moment. Dot's a nice one to be trading. Ethereum, of course. Uh, Ave, or however you pronounce this one. Sushi, I could cover. This is all against Tezos. Uh, I wish. All against Tether. Um, you know, I'm leverage trading them. So if, if you wouldn't want to see one of those kind of, we could say, obscure alts, <clears throat> I'm more than happy to do a video. Matic, I could cover Matic against te uh, Tezos. Oh my God, what am I going to... Matic against Tether. <laughs> Uh, that's obviously on Bybit as well. So if you're interested in that, I'll do that. I think our next video I'll probably do is a Bitcoin video because it seems a little bit of a while since I've covered Bitcoin. But I've just been heavily uh, trading these altcoins over the past few days. Next video will probably be on Bitcoin. All I will end by saying, ladies and gentlemen, is do not get greedy on these alts. We have seen absolutely outstanding gains, like crazy, crazy, crazy big gains to the upside. And it is just really, really, really important to take profits, you know, otherwise yeah you're gonna you might regret it sort of thing so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope i've given you some perspective of how we managed to originally call this how we're looking for the next levels the next levels we could be to look into the down to the upside uh personally obviously i would not look to look to long here because you are longing you know it's just it's just for me i'm never interested in longing after a hundred percent move to the upside i was longing at the bottom yeah i'm longing at the lows 100 percent move to the upside yeah it can go higher i'd be happy if it goes higher but there's no way i'm going to long after 100 percent move because i long the low period so uh yeah i hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much if you have smash that like and i will bring you another altcoin video calling like i did tezos this time round for you if we hit 1000 let's say 1500 likes that is so achievable Thank you ever so much, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've enjoyed. Great to see everybody doing well. And I'll catch you for the next video, which will be on Bitcoin. Cheers and goodbye.